Keyvokers. What up, guys? This is Keyvokers. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we are going to be focusing on We Were Here. We Were Here is a free games with gold for the second half of September. This is an online co-op puzzle game. You could either play from the explorer perspective or the librarian perspective. There are seven puzzles total in the game. You get an achievement for beating the puzzle as the explorer and the librarian. So that's 14 achievements in itself. There are also seven achievements related to having a perfect playthrough on each puzzle. And finally, there is an achievement for beating the full game with a perfect playthrough, no deaths or wrong answers. That achievement would be really hard, however we can get it using the chapter select after we're done with the game. So just keep in mind if you don't get the perfect play on any of the puzzles, after your first playthrough you'll be able to go back through chapter select and try that puzzle again. So let's dive right into it. So when you start off the game as the librarian, you're going to turn around and on this table right here you're going to find your walkie talkie. So the way you're supposed to communicate with your partner is via the walkie talkie believe the walkie-talkie button is RB so to talk to your partner you have to hold RB and talk however I gotta be completely honest with you me and my co-op partner Peach Cloud we decided to use party chat the game might give you a notification sometimes letting you know hey don't use party chat however I'll let you know it does work so for the between the eyes puzzle what we need to do as the librarian is we need to go over to the chart over here and we need to ask the explorer what color eyes they see on their wall. So they're going to see a color on the left hand side and the right hand side. Once they tell you the colors of the eyes, you are going to match that up with the chart and read them the symbols. Half of the fun in this game is trying to explain the symbols to your partner. After they press those symbols into the wall, they are going to unlock the first door for you and complete the first puzzle. So what we're going to do is walk into this room and we need to describe the painting to them. The feet, the back, the feather, the head. Be very descriptive. What's going to happen is you're going to take that information and then you're going to match it up with the painting. Find the symbols below the painting and let them know which symbols to put below their painting. Once they click in the symbols, it's going to unlock the achievement for you and it's going to unlock the door in the back. So what we need to do is go to the back door head all the way downstairs and what the explorer is seeing is they're seeing a room that's uh, filling up with water and you, they need to explain what color word and what the word is and those are the two valves that you need to press once you press the two valves their water is going to stop rising and it's going to start lowering that's going to complete this puzzle I'm using some editing to make this quick and to the point for you guys. I just want to be able to explain the puzzles and move on. The third puzzle is the dungeon puzzle. It's pretty much a maze. So what we need to do is go upstairs and press this white switch. That's going to activate the colors on the map for us so we can explain to our explorer partner how to navigate through the dungeon. So they start off in the white area that we see on our map. We need to tell them to take a right and then another right, go down to the room with the blue X. The X's are the levers. They need to pull the first lever. That's going to unlock the door to the most left. So they need to go back where they started and then go to the path to the left. That's going to go up to the door that appears to be closed on our map. When they unlock them, that does not reflect on our map. Just a heads up. So they have to go um, and then press the green X now, which is the green lever on the top of the map. Once they press the green lever, they could head back down to where they started. And what we need to do is tell them to flip the blue switch again. So my partner is just about where we started. It's gonna go back and going to turn off the blue switch. So that's going to switch the door that's nearest to us, have them take a right once they get out of that room follow the hallway this blue gate is going to be open now and they want to hug the right hand side and eventually you are going to see the green gate going to walk through there and there's going to be the pink switch they can keep pressing the switch over and over if you want to get the easter egg achievement exit that and then now we are going to 
go back to the blue switch. So just head back to the blue room and press the blue switch again. This is going to open the first blue gate that we had walked through. If the colors disappear on your map, you have to walk back upstairs and press the switch again to enable the colors again. You might have to do this about three or four times to be able to explain the paths to your partner. So they're heading back to the most northern room with the green switch. This time, um, they're going to press the green switch. That's going to open that last gate right there. Once they press the green switch, they'll be able to walk through and the exit is going to be on the left hand side. That door was originally closed, but we opened it with the pink switch. If you did it with no errors, you should get your perfect play achievement for the maze or dungeon. Next is the chess puzzle. So for this puzzle, what we need to do is take the film roll on the table and take it up to the projector. We need to click it in and then we need to wait for our partner to activate the generator. Once they activate the generator, you can pull the wheel and it'll start the machine. After that, you need to press the button on the side of the projector and then it'll start projecting um, a chessboard onto the projection screen. So what we need to do is explain these moves to our partner because they need to input the exact same moves on the giant chessboard that they see in front of them. This is probably not going to get done um, on the perfect play on your first try. You guys are probably going to have to try this at least two or three times. Eventually, me and my partner knew the moves on the chessboard like the back of our hand. So it may take some practice, but this is how you solve the puzzle. You explain what the chess moves are to your partner and they have to move everything on the large chess board before they freeze to death. If you do it without dying, you are going to get your perfect play achievement. And just so you know, if you guys do do the perfect play on any of these puzzles, the Explorer and the Librarian both get credit the achievement for the perfect play. Once your partner clicks in the last chess piece, you should get the achievement for passing the puzzle. And if you did it without them dying, you should get the perfect play on the chess puzzle. After that puzzle is complete, next they're going to end up in this room where they have to proceed through some tiles. And if they step on the wrong tile, they will get spiked. So what we need to do is ask them what symbols they see in front of them. What we need to do is match those symbols with one of the books around the room. Once you find the correct book, you need to read the directions on the back of the book. Your partner is going to use those directions to step through the tiles without dying. If you guys did it correctly, you should be able to advance and you should get your achievement for the perfect play on the spike hall. We are officially on our seventh and final puzzle. For this one, we need to go all the way upstairs into the door that just opened. And so what we're going to do here is we have to explain a scene to set up for our Ladies partner. This puzzle is also time. So what we need to do is we need show. to interact with the vinyl player and it's going to give us some directions on how to set up the scene. I'm just going to let you guys know what to set up on each of the five scenes. Scene one, you need to have them send out the castle set piece and then the people set piece. After they have the correct set pieces out, they need to press the lever to advance to the next scene. For the second scene, we want to send out the castle set piece and then tell them to send out the king and the queen. So the castle, the king, and the queen. After that, they need to press the switch and that will send us into scene three. For scene three, we need to tell our partner to send out all of the set pieces except for the murdering king. So we need the regular king, the queen, the castle, and the people. Again, that is all of the set pieces except for the murdering king. So we need the castle, the king, the queen, and then the happy people. After they have out all four set pieces, they can press the switch to progress to the next scene. There we go. And then so that's going to send us into scene four. For scene four, what we need to do 
is it's going to be that exact same set, except we are going to replace the king with the murdering king. So we can take that king out, and we're going to bring in the other king, which is the only set piece you have not seen yet. And what's happening here is the king is going to murder everybody. That's basically what's going on in this play. So once you have the murdering king out there, they can press the switch again. And then this is going to send us to scene 5. Scene 5 is nice and easy. All we need to do is have them send out the king by himself. Once we let the king out by himself, you want to tell your explorer partner that there's going to be a light on the right hand side of them. They need to flip the switch. It's called the blood light. Once they trigger the blood light, they can go ahead and press the regular switch to progress through this scene. After they do so, the puzzle has ended. As long as you didn't die or make any errors, you should get your perfect play for the haunted theater. This is the end of the game. There is two endings. You get an achievement for either. You're going to have to play through this game twice anyway. Once as the librarian and once as the explorer. Just make sure that you do both endings through both playthroughs and you'll be good. On my librarian playthrough, my partner decided to let me go first. So I'm going to go ahead and get this 100 point achievement for leaving the game and completing it. There we go. That's the achievement for the worst friend ever. If you're interested in playing through this game as the explorer, make sure you check out my explorer guide. Other than that, I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.